Hey everybody, welcome to another video of Just Sports with John. And today you're going to be doing my NCAA predictions for the Final Four. So let's get right into it. Now, I apologize right off the bat. I'm going to be looking down at some notes here for a little bit. So let's get into it. So we got two teams, or I mean two games and four teams. And so we got Kansas versus Villanova. And I've been kind of rooting slash thinking that Villanova has been probably the best team all tournament all year, uh, most consistent, probably had some of the least uh, horrible losses and whatnot. And they've been just kind of rolling through the tournament for the most part. Uh, but that being said, they have a key, key injury in Justin Moore. Uh, he is, and just so you know how key this is. So Justin Moore is the most minutes out of their starting lineup. He's the second most points third re leading rebounder, second leading assist man, and third in steals on their team to go along with their fourth best three-point percentage. So this is big for Villanova to lose him. And you got to remember, too, that Villanova isn't a, a very deep team in terms of playing a ton of guys a lot of minutes. I think they only had about five, maybe six guys that were over 20 minutes per game and only about four that were over like 30 minutes per game. So, so this is huge. Uh, this is one of their 30 minute per game guys. Like I said, he's their most minute guy. And so I think what you're looking at for Villanova <clears throat> in order to have a fighting chance in this is you're looking at Colin Gillespie, Daniels and Dixon are guys that are going to have to step up and take on this load. I mean, somebody's going to have to play minutes. Somebody's going to have to get more points. Somebody's going to have to be rebounding. Somebody's going to have to, and you do typically won't replace that with one player. Um, other guys that might contribute a little bit off the bench are Slater, Longino, and Arcianato. Um, if they do come in, they're going to have to have impactful minutes, um, pick up some slack here and there. So it's, I think, uh, I think, uh, Jay Wright's already talked about Daniels being a guy who's going to pick up minutes. I think he's another guard and Golevsky's going to, you know, he already does a lot, but he's going to have to really step up, make plays and we'll see. All right. So my prediction on this is that Kansas will be the team that'll win. I just think their depth, you know, the star players they have at this point, um, you know, I think it's it's going to be almost like a five on four uh, situation with starters. So unless somebody off the Villanova bench just comes off and then presses, you know, or Kansas just has a bad day, I I'm going to go with Kansas here. Even though I, I, I even with this injury, I still feel strongly on Villanova, but I just think Kansas overall is going to going to win this. So going to the next matchup, so Duke versus North Carolina, how exciting is that? First time that that has happened in the NCAA tournament. I, I can't believe it. I mean, come on. Like, how does this not have happened before? I mean, I kind of blame the committee. And, like, they've always been, you know, one's been over here in the bracket and the other has been way down here in the bracket. So it's like, you know, having to come all the way to meet. And so it's just never happened, um, which is crazy. 47, what, 47 years for Mike Krzyzewski and, and Duke and North Carolina have never met. That's insane. So happy to have that happening here. Um, I think North Carolina's hot. They are on a complete roll right now, and it's so hard to pick against them. I mean, you know, people had them getting crushed by Baylor and so forth, and it just hadn't happened. I mean, they've been coached well. They've been playing hot. They've been everything. But I think UNC is going to come down to earth in this matchup. I think this is a matchup where you're playing a team who knows you really well, knows what you do really well for the most part. We saw that um, in in the season four and even in the last game where UNC beat Duke. I think we still saw that. It's just that Duke wasn't playing a very good game, and they knew it. And I think there was a lot of pressure on them to win that game, and it sort of backfired. And, and North Carolina had nothing to lose really in that game. And, and, I mean, they had everything to lose in that game. And so I think it was something where, you know, North Carolina knew they had to get the job done and they did. And, uh, but, you know, coach K in particular sounded like, you know, that wasn't going to happen again and here they are. So it's going to be really exciting. But I think in the end, uh, Duke has some big guys that can deal with the way that North Carolina has been playing inside, especially with Baycott. And uh, I think that Duke has been, you know, really blessed by Coach K. He's been putting on a coaching clinic, especially in a tournament. Um, there's been times they've been down and they came back because he's he's got precisely what they need to do and their guys are in line with what they need to do. So I'm going to predict Duke will win this. I wouldn't be shocked at all if UNC won this. Um, it, this matchup is pretty much a toss-up. You can go either way. 
But I'm going to go with Duke for at least one more game here. And I think they get it done and send Coach K to the championship game. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave comments, leave likes, let me know what you think. If you disagree, what your picks are, I'd love to hear it. All right. Take care.